I'm here with Dr. Kim Hammond from the Falls Road Animal Hospital, and that is Rambo. This is the... Rambo. This is just a bundle of joy today. These were three rescued Hello. bunnies, and they're supposed to be lion's heads. Let me show you what a lion's head the looks like. The one with like. the dress is named Sarah. Yeah, her name and is Sarah. And she's dressed like Sarah. She is dressed like Sarah. Oh, oh. Right. oh her dress is too tight. Sorry. <laughs> like Sarah. <laughs> That's how we know it's Sarah. <laughs> You're in trouble. She's looking hot. Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> Tell us about this uh, rabbit here. They're talking all rescues. About, talking about the bunny. This okay. is called a lion's head. Look at their funny head. Look at this. If you can close up on that. This is a, this is a crazy, crazy look for a, for a bunny it rabbit, isn't it? It is a crazy it? look, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know, bunnies are beautiful pets, but they require a certain sort of owner because they, they're rodents. They chew on everything. They'll chew on your cords. They'll chew on your, your carpet and things like that. But they're great pets. They're great, great pets. Okay. They're really lovers. They, they're yeah. cute. They okay. are cute. <laughs> All right, my okay. box. Let's get to the questions. My boxer puppy has been vomiting off and on for two days. He's drinking water but not eating. What could be causing this? Look, you know, most of the time it's something fairly innocuous. It's something they got into and they get an upset stomach. And and you never know what the environment's all about. They could be eating rawhide chewies. They could be eating stick stones. Who knows? But if it's going on for two days, you got to go see your veterinarian. You got to stop it. Imagine if you okay. were vomiting for two days. That's not good. Bam. I don't want to imagine that. Yeah. All right. My cat has discharge in her eyes and she's sneezing a lot. Should I just assume it's allergies and see if she gets better? I definitely would not assume that it's allergies because, you know, it's the eyes. You want to make sure. One thing you can do very simply is take a picture of it, send it to your veterinarian. Just, you know, just to kind of what do you think? If it is something that looks relatively innocuous, your veterinarian will say, fine, don't worry about it. But cell phones work great. So take a picture of it, send it to your vet. Okay. My dog ate a small amount of cocoa powder I dropped on the floor. I haven't noticed any change in him, but I know this can be toxic. What do I look for? Okay, so it's probably not toxic because it's been this, you know, a, a certain amount of time has passed and there's no symptoms, but this is the deal. Whenever something like that happens, there's always a poison hotline. You get on the phone to the poison hotline and uh, it's an 800 number and they'll tell you because it's really dose related and it's the type of chocolate. Not all chocolates are as toxic as others. Are these this rabbits great. nervous? Are they no. nervous? Or that's just the way they are? You mean because they sit and yes. they go like this? No, that's, that's just kind of <laughs> how they do their thing. You know, they're kind of like the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Hello. They've okay. got that kind of moment. But they're pretty, and you know it's Easter. You know, they're kind of like, they're kind of like, whoa, this, okay. is, this is the holiday where they want to stay All undercover. Right. Thanks, Dr. Kim. All right.